for the White House now, and President Biden's push for COVID relief. He hit the road on his first official trip in office, taking questions at a town hall in Wisconsin. Our chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, has the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. Hi, George. Good morning to you. This was a chance for the president to talk to those Americans in one of those hard hit states about trying to pass his nearly two trillion dollar COVID relief plan. But look, the headline here was when he was asked point blank when every American who wants a vaccine will be able to get one. And he said we're looking at nearly uh, more than 600 million doses of these vaccines available by July, the end of July. That's enough to vaccinate every American who wants one. He said as for when life will return to normal, the president said that there's a strong chance we could reach herd immunity by Christmas. He also, though, did warn uh, that a year from now will likely will still need to be socially being socially distant and wearing masks. The big question for parents this morning, uh, schools on so many minds. The president did say good news for parents, perhaps not so much for kids. We will be likely looking at summer school this summer. But as for when people will return, children will return to school. I want to get this right here. He said a majority of K through eight schools could be open five days a week by the end of April. This is a bit of a walk back from what his press secretary said. Uh, the pre president said that he is cleaning that up, George. Yeah, they thought they were going to be able to get all of them done. Meantime, he said he didn't want to talk about President Trump last night, but we are hearing from President Trump at least a written statement blasting Mitch McConnell blasting, vindictive, and remarkable from a former president. This, of course, after the Senate former Senate Minority Leader spoke out after the impeachment hearing, blasting the president himself. But take a look at what President Trump said. He said, quote, the Republican Party can never again be respected or strong with political leaders like Senate Senator Mitch McConnell at its helm. Then came a string of insults. President Trump called him dour, sullen, an unsmiling political hack, saying he has a lack of political insight, wisdom, skill, and personality. George, this former president effectively declaring war on members of his own party who dare to speak out against him. The division continues. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.